Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope we're all doing well. It is 2.19 p.m. January 31st, 2024. Hope we're a fantastic day today. We're going to get some World of Warcraft once again. And today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of raiding. We might touch a little bit of leveling on our Warlock. And we might try to get a raid on our Hunter. So without further ado, let's hop in to the video game. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play my Hunter anymore. Which means I need to level up fishing and, and cooking on someone else. Should I get fishing and cooking on this character? Or this character? I feel like Druid is definitely the one. Like, I feel like we get cooking on this character real quick. And then we get fishing on the other one. And we spend, you, you know, the two hours it takes to get 150 fishing. How much gold is that? <laughs> I've been spending a lot of gold and stuff. Why not Hunter? My Hunter's not getting any good gear. Every time I played him, he's gotten terrible gear. And honestly, if I'm just gonna play, like I'm already maining two mains, right? Like we're playing, we're playing mage main and we're playing uh, druid main and I'm probably gonna play a little bit of warrior. And uh, I'm probably gonna play a little bit of paladin. But yeah, I feel like the Hunter is kind of like, you know, lost a little bit of his flair. Even though it's really good in PvP. Like, I'd much rather play, um... Mage, Druid, Warrior, Rogue, Paladin. We should send it over real quick. Yeah, look at my bank. <laughs> this is what the, uh, actual getting level up is. Uh, that was... That's, that's a lot of money, by the way. Like, that's so much money. I had to do Dark, uh... Uh, Duskwood just on, on that character to, uh, you know, balance the scales a little bit. So yeah, let's just quickly level up cooking. I don't know where there's a cook here, but... Oh yeah, by the way, when you tur return mail, it's instant. Which is cool. So yeah, I've done this before. Leveling up cooking is really, really easy. Um, and we'll try to keep a hold on our, our like, meat and stuff. Like, all our prep is gonna be really fun when it comes out to, uh, phase two. Because, like, I'm probably going to carry, like, enough stuff for a campfire and <gasps> carry some spices, carry profession shit. Just for fun, you know? But, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be grinding hard. Like, we need to level up fucking three alts and level up all our professions. And we want to do that. Honestly, we want it done hour two. I'm going to be honest. Uh, we want, and for our mage, we want to have 225 mage weave or sorry 225 um tail rings so we can make mage weave bags because i can make them now i can make mage weave bags right now i just don't have the skill and that's gonna be lucrative as fuck but yeah man i i've never been so excited for wow servers are gonna be packed see that's the thing if i don't get in early i'm gonna get fucked not because from stream perspective but also from a monetary perspective that's where i'm gonna get fucked Wait for it. Wait for it. Watch the turn. That's a bot. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Blinks on, on the same spot that they all blink. What a fucking moron. Hey, look. Is this a bot? Well, he looks exactly like that other guy over there. Let's see the way he turns. That's a bot. Humans don't turn like that. Not a lot of them, though. There's a few, but it's not a lot. Okay, we're at the right place. The second recipe I need to get is in Stormwind, so... I'm pretty sure the uh, the person we're looking for is over here. Honestly? See you around. Unless uh, the only thing I need is the thing I need to craft to get to 150 for recipes. Like, these are the three defaults, so we've only learned... Well, we should only learn two. Because this is the... Uh, like, this smoked sage fish is going to kind of be, like, a thing we're going to kind of want to keep on us. I mean, honestly, I don't know how much of that is. It looks like it's a lot. You know, I could have been fishing this the whole time. Like, I didn't even know that shit existed, by the way. Like, I played Classic for a while. I, I've never raided in Classic, though. But I didn't know this existed. And you want to know the coolest thing about it? It's probably never really truly been used in World of Warcraft until this phase. 
Because there was no reason to, right? But with the phasing thing, with the season discovery phasing thing, uh, now everything gets used. Damn, this might just bring me up to 150, huh? Damn, this might actually just bring me up to 150, huh? You know, I never see red tarbirds at all, and they look so dope. Like, that's honestly the first one I saw since I can remember. I've seen. Yeah. That shit, that shit could take me up to 145. We'll, uh, we'll make the rest of those. Oh, master of cooking recipes. What do I need? A raptor or something. Fun fact, uh, Blizzard, uh, released a cooking book with, like, all these recipes in it and more. Super cool. I actually want it. Uh, where is, what is this called? It's Curious Tasty Omelette. Don't, <laughs> wait, look at, look at the use, uh, thing. Like, under cooking 130, so you're looking, your eyes are looking here. Don't ask, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. Is that unique? That is very unique. Don't ask. You don't want to know. Gives you six stamina and six spirit. Hmm. That's actually not a bad food buff. I wonder if it says that in a tooltip in the actual thing. It doesn't. So, like, if you don't look there, that is gone. Whoever wrote that, they're like, that is very, very unseen. That's funny. Uh, what kind of spices do I need for this thing? Hot spices? Uh, let's just pick up 20. It's fine. I'll, I'm sure I'll need 30 of those spices just to get six levels. Oh, yeah, I could have took the uh, dry poke ribs all the way to 150. <clears throat> Amazing. I mean, honestly, if you're like, if you don't want to use your food buffs and stuff, having like shitty food buffs was actually not bad. And honestly, honestly, having a six stamina, some six spirit food buff ain't that bad either is there any int food buffs i wouldn't imagine so right like obviously there's this mana one but like it's like food is something that like not a lot of people think about definitely not me but like that's just like a extra thing because having that honestly i like for questing for questing i value having eight more stamina and eight more spirit over having the mp5 the mana per second, you know? Because, like, that's great and all, but, like, that's 715. That's another That's another 80 health. That's going to bring me up to 800, I think. Let's just see. 715, unbuffed. Right, I have my mage buffs, obviously. They don't count. 775. See, so, yeah, that'll bring me up to almost 790, right? Depends, depends on how much it is, though. Like, if I can get tender crocodilly meat uh, times a lot, get the recipe for cheap and you know do all that like then we'll be we'll be chilling wait maybe this is like really expensive hold on yeah so the stew it's actually not oh no no that the stew is pretty expensive actually recipe that's a pretty expensive thing yeah that's definitely not worth i'll uh may maybe we'll buy like some of that though just to have it just something to, you know, keep our stuff up. It's not that expensive, like... We'll just buy another, what, two stacks worth? But yeah, I need to get my inventory ready for, uh, you know... For level... Uh, oh, dude. How much are 12 slaughters? This is probably a mistake. Considering I'm going to be able to make 12 slaughters here in about... 7 days, 8 days, 9 days. Oh, 7 gold... Is that the cheapest? Seven gold? So that's the going rate for 12 slaughters is seven gold, right? So if we put them on for five gold, well, no, we'll put them on for seven, right? I mean, shit, that's a pretty nice price, dude. I could get four extra slots if I bought two of them. I'd have to do all the quests on my paladin. Hmm. Maybe I could do wetlands. There we go. What I was gonna say was I need to uh, I need to sort out my fucking inventory. Like my inventory on this character is not prepped. Not prepped at all. All right, let's go ahead and let's start with disorganization bullshit.
I'm also considering buying food and water, regular food and water. Because my mana is just so much, and my food is just so bad, that I think I'm just going to, you know, buy food and water regularly. At least until I get better food at 30. But even then, like... So I think the way we want our inventory to be managed is reagents are taking up these slots, and then food and water is going to take up these spots, and then all the other slots and shit are going to be there. Um, you need something. So let's go ahead and grab some more hot spices. And we can do some uh, inventory organization real quick. So yeah, I think I want reagents and stuff there. So... And honestly, like, these are probably not going to be there. Like, these are just, uh, these are just items. So, like, I think I'm going to get, uh, well. Yeah, I do want more of those, but they're quite expensive. And then we can do something cool like this. And we have all this room. Like this. So yeah, everything looks good now. See? Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mage is ridiculous, dude. Just ridiculous. And by the way, these guys are hyper spawning. I don't know if you noticed that. But this is a silk cloth hyper spawn. Uh, just saying those words on YouTube will make a many a content creator cream. Because, uh, that's insane. By the way, if I had a known, if I had a known that these mobs could drop silk cloth, I would have been here every single day. Uh, because, uh, a hyper spawn drop, being able to drop silk cloth in an alliance zone on a boat is pretty fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. Very good. Well, we don't like the level 30. We could actually AOE that guy down. Yeah, literally. Okay, the captain did not fall over like he was supposed to. Come over here, captain. Okay, you remember that thing I was talking about? I lied. Captain is not a fucking pushover. Holy shit. Alright, well, at least the quest is done. How, how does this make sense? He's all the way over there. I'm getting overhealed like crazy right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to bring us to the end of today's stream. I appreciate everyone coming in here and watching. We have streamed for almost nine hours today. Damn. We played some games uh, with a friend. We uh, uh, specifically World of Warcraft. We cleared the instance. We did a bunch of gold grinding on our uh, mage. We spent fucking 20 gold on every fucking potion imaginable, which I'm going to go and sell now. Because holy shit. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, we also hit 510 subscribers. We got our first sub. Thank you, Straybog. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we do be out here. So if you are watching the stream recap, I say this every time. Go ahead and hit the sub button. Uh, and if you want, and I'll be saying that this is the start of the streams from now on. There's a button right here. It's called join. This is the subscription button. If you're used to Twitch, it is a paid thing. You do de definitely don't have to do it. The perks include, um, you can have uh, access to a follower, well, sorry, a subscriber only mode, which is what I'm going to call it, which is if I turn it on, it's only you and whomever else is sub to the channel who can talk. And also you get access to five new emotes and you also get a badge next to your uh, name, which actually looks really cool, and I'm really happy. It's my face, but instead of this whole badge thing, it's, uh, it's smaller. But yeah, thank you for watching. Till next time. See ya!